What is up, nerds all around the world? My name is Jake from Esports Talk, also a nerd, by the way. Not trying to demean anyone on this Friday morning. You guys knew I would be here if you're a fan of the channel. Yes, another rebrand in esports, which I love covering these things. I really do. In fact, I got a clip for you guys sometime next week about the best and the worst esports rebrands we have seen so far. This one, Fnatic, has now been official. If you guys were here last week, or I guess I should say a couple of days ago, it was already leaked. Yes, for not the first time, we've had LEC or a League of Legends Productions actually leak a few things in the past. This one being the Fnatic rebrand, whether accidental or on purpose. Yes, I think a lot of us can uh, ask ourselves, I think when I first saw this, the first words that come to my mind are, just why? Uh, as you guys can tell, a tiny, tiny change when it comes to the Fnatic rebrand, a bit of a color adjustment or color scheme adjustment when it comes to their new jerseys as well. And besides that, not much changed. And so it comes with a double-edged sword, and I'll show you guys some of their videos as well. I, I Honestly, I see this, and I question myself every time, why? You know, why change so little in this rebrand, but at the same time, I think, Maybe this is okay. Because, you know, of, of course, all the hardcore fans out there, Fnatic has a notorious logo, much like many esports organizations do. They've had these initial logos for quite some time. It's made them who they are today. And I think it does drive the joke, though, of eventually down the line, you know, five, ten years from now, what's going to be left of the Fnatic logo? Because all they did here was actually just uh, take away a little bit of a piece and uh, make one piece a little bit shorter. So eventually, is it just going to be a leg left or a dot left? Either way, I think this comes with an esports rebrand mimicking that of Misfits where you kind of keep if not the entire logo you keep most of the initial logo you don't really change too much you don't change your color schemes by golly and it still resembles a bit of the old logo as, as most do at least not when it comes to North though North went from like a, a lion like a, a nice looking lioness to a deformed looking dragon but either way when it comes time for ranking esports rebrands I will say the new jerseys to me they look pretty clean the new logo looks pretty clean they kept their color scheme uh, at least to a, a, a the, the notorious orange for Fnatic and so do I have an issue with this not really I don't think it's that bad I don't think it's amazing but it's certainly not the worst we have seen so far what do you guys think about this Fnatic have now rebranded for the future the future is Fnatic and Fnatic is the future I honestly think based off all the rebrands we have seen that this one looks pretty darn good and that takes a lot to say until next time hope you guys all enjoy several stories coming out today and uh, I'll be back here with some more coffee soon take care of yourselves all right bye